Hi everybody, this is Alchemist 2 and I'm back again with another movie review. I just recently had the pleasure of seeing The Little Prince, which uh, TTR actually sent to me. And um, ever since I was young, I've adored <clears throat> the book and uh, <laughs> it reminds me a lot of my pop. Because he actually read the book in the original French when he was going through... <laughs> French class and it's just it's such a profound book but you know it was uh, a lot different than what I expected um, but wondrous nonetheless it was just absolutely magnificent and Netflix really did a <laughs> pardon my pun a stellar job they truly truly did and it was phenomenal it just it was a story about forgetting the the wonderment of childhood and the inquisitive nature of it and just getting so bogged down with um <clears throat> measuring up to other people's expectations and not doing what your heart really calls you to do um and I actually wrote down a, a quote that I thought was very, very beautiful. And Little Prince actually says this. He says, it's only with the heart that one can see rightly. And it's true. And he, he talks about that quite a bit. And sometimes our minds can become so cluttered with mundane, everyday, common things that... It takes the spirit to see things in a completely different light. And um, really, I, th I thought that this film was absolutely glorious in every shape, way, and form. And the animation was really spectacular and just wonderful to look at and just pretty. And <laughs> I liked all the characters, especially the aviator. It's just, it's so understandable why um the the character to tell uh the prince's story would, would be an aviator just because an aviator can break the confines of gravity and and gravity is the everyday common mundane that holds us down but it's a weak force <laughs> Rem uh, remember that it is a weak force <laughs> And that's why I'm happy I have an imagination because I break that weak force on a daily basis. Um, this movie made me happy. I still have my childlike qualities. And I'm a, I'm a big kid and, and my dad was too. I, th I thought no wonder he enjoyed this story because there's just there's so much to take from it. And it talks about love and loss and um, maturity and how to mature in such a way that you don't lose that part of yourself that has the ability to look up in the sky and just be in complete awe and be transfixed by the mysteries of the cosmos. But it's just really <laughs> sensational. And I just, I, <laughs> I savored every moment of it. I even cried. I mean, I was, yeah, that there was a part that just having, um, Buried my, yeah, I'm, I promised myself I wouldn't cry, but sometimes the tears come, but um, I have good memories, and Dad wouldn't have wanted to, me to be sad, and there's one part where um, Little Prince is, is talking to the aviator, and he says, shell, he says, I, what, I'm, you know, I'm just a shell, and, and shells aren't sad, because he, he has to become an adult, but, um, that also speaks of mortality too and you know our our earthly bodies they are shells and we're we're pure energy when when we do indeed pass and what he gave me was a gift because um i see it as something that we almost go through it's that undiscovered country that shakespeare so poetically describes and we don't understand it and it, it for me for such a long time it just held so much sway and now I look at it now and I thought why was I so afraid that was his last gift to me and I'm very grateful for it 
he he taught me not to be afraid anymore and you know that I have uh he's watching over me and that I will be I will be welcomed when my time comes, but I'm making the most of my time now. That's the most important thing. Not to dwell too much on the future, not to be bogged down by the past. The present is what's the most important. And it's just, I, I thought, why did it take me so long? Why did it take me until I was 36 to realize this? Jeez, but better late than never, I think. Um, I just, I want to share this with people who who think that they have something to fear and um, just realizing that um, it is indeed a, a transition. Um, it comes to us all and it's nothing It's nothing to be afraid of actually and it just it gives me more reason to be glad. He, he touched a lot of people. A lot of people were at the service today and, and the service was fantastic and um, I'm glad that I was able to reconnect with my my family and I know that there are people out there that love and, and care for me and it gives me assurance because I know I'm not going to be alone on this earth I never was I just I don't know why I was thinking that I I feel so inept but <laughs> I was just blind I needed to be I needed to be jostled a little bit and, and this was a jostle believe me you but um yeah I just I'm sorry I went off on all tracks there but uh, this movie just, it, it reminded me of, uh, my dad's spirit is, um, his, uh, his ability to connect with each and every person he met, just, uh, the magnan, uh, the magnanitude, the magnanimitude, is that a word? The magnanimous, <laughs> the magnanimous part of his personality, I should say, his magnanimitude, magnanimitude, yeah, I made up a word, anyway, magnanimitude, it's a word, um, <laughs> <laughs> another um way to say magnanimous but he was just um he was very gregarious he was just uh, loquacious and he adored the english language and uh he passed a lot of that down to me and luckily i inherited quite a bit of that uh quirkiness <laughs> and charm and eccentricity and zaniness it, it's all they're all good they're all um, extraordinary, unique qualities that I'm very happy to say that I have, um, <laughs> gotten from his side, mostly his side of the family, not, not my mom's, but my mom's side was, uh, pretty <laughs> out there too, but not so much as my dad's. My dad's is definitely, he, his takes the cake. Uh, <laughs> love, I, God love him though, but it just, it reminded me so much of that, and he, um, he instilled in me just a, a sense of inquisitiveness, and I'm glad that it's stuck, because I just, I want to know, I, knowledge is power, and imagination is even more important than knowledge, as one of my favorite people said, uh, and it's, it's so true, because without imagination, uh, there would be no invention, <laughs> let me just put it that way. And uh, there are things that are happening I, that are attesting to that. But as far as films are concerned, Little Prince, to me, gets two thumbs way up. Five stars. Hands down. No quibbling, quabbling, kvetching. Anything of that matter. It was just the perfect film. And Netflix. Kudos to Netflix. I didn't know anybody who wa was star who starred in the film and didn't matter because it was just so um, incredibly well done. And, of course, that had a... Uh, French uh, soundtrack which I really liked and it was just so very made me feel nostalgic I love French film anyway but uh, it just it had the French flair and it's beautiful and just uh, made me happy that I still have that childlike quality about myself and uh, hopefully like the main character I am growing up to be a, a wonderful adult <laughs> here's hoping well until next time everybody live long and prosper ciao Susie